Gonzaga Bulldogs head coach Mark Few here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, coach? Doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? I'm hanging in there. I feel like I'm 28. No, I think I've done 28 great shows in a row. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Th- that's good. It's not a bad feeling, is it? No. Tell me how how what what is this like for you right now, coach? Uh, you know, um, I, I think the one thing that uh, we're trying to do is not get caught up in, you know, the Final Four National Championship or bust uh, mode, and we're just enjoying the heck out of every day uh, that we come to practice or that we have the opportunity to play a, a game. Uh, that being said, we, we certainly, uh, you know, have our eye on that prize at the end and it's it's a it's something that we're aspiring to but we're not you know all consumed with it and just trying to it's a great team to hang out with it's a great team to coach it's a great team to challenge and uh uh it's been remarkable just how consistent they've been all year we just really haven't had many bad days at all if you could start the tournament now if you were given the choice would you do that yeah <laughs> we're kind of ready. We're yeah. chomping at the bit a little bit. I think we've proven ourselves. Um, you know, though, we talked the other day, uh, Rich, about, uh, you know, I mean, we got a chance to make uh, history here, at least within our program, and, and kind of there's been other teams that have done it in college basketball, but not a ton of them that have been able to finish out the regular season undefeated. So it's we got a weekend left to do that, and, and I think the guys will be uh, – you know, uh, excited and motivated. And when this group's dialed in, then, uh, you know, we're pretty good. What do you say to those coach few that say that you haven't really played folks of top notch caliber to be 28? No, a Fagazi 28 and oh, well, how do you respond to that? Coach? I mean, I think it's really easy. I think that's kind of an ignorant statement in that. Just look at, I mean, I think we have like t- seven top 50 wins. We might have three top 25 top 15 wins maybe even more than that maybe four now uh which is almost as much as anybody in the country so uh uh we have actually played a bunch of teams and uh, the metrics and the uh you know the uh the indexes that kind of rate all this uh have us up there and and uh i get our our league is not as strong as certainly not even close to the acc and nor is it the big 12 uh, but, you know, I mean, having St. Mary's in there, a fellow top 25 uh, uh, team has really helped. BYU's usually a top 50 club. They're probably more top 100 this year. Um, but there's a lot of dogs in those other football conferences that I think people don't, aren't talking about much. I love you call it a football conference. I like that. That's basically what they are, you know. And so, I mean, I, that's how this – you know, everybody gets into the high major, mid major, and all that. I mean, you got to just look at programs: who's winning and who isn't, and who's getting it done. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.